speaking of cars, yeah. we made a car. <laughs> Sony made a car. Why not? Why not, Why not make a car? Uh, well, so <coughs> Sony is the world's largest manufacturer of image sensors. So do you have an iPhone, Ryan? Uh, I, do have, I do have an iPhone. Yeah, Sony sensor. Um, but what this is, is we're showcasing a combination of technologies. Our CMOS sensors, 4K, high dynamic range, LiDAR, which is light detection and ranging, radar, ultrasonic, time of flight uh, sensors in order to provide a, an autonomous vehicle. Uh, so the Vision S is our test bed for that. Um, and we have all of these different uh, sensors because obviously none of them can do everything. So they have to. So some sensors work better in clear weather. Some sensors are designed to show the difference between that morning sky and the traffic. You know, the dark. Um, yeah, so, that, so there's all kinds of ways that that these sensors need to work integration together. And that's really what Sony is bringing to the table is the integration of all of those parts. We don't. We make about 80% of the sensors, but we, we do the integration of all of them. Interior-wise, it's 360 reality audio, uh, and there's also- I mean, of course, it has to be at this point. There are, there are 30 speakers inside that car. Um, and there's also, there's also a driver camera, so if you've ever been in one of those situations where you're starting to doze off and pay attention, the car will be aware of that. Uh, so it's really cool. So well, that's particularly important if you're dealing with an autonomous or auto, uh, automated driving situation. Um, you know, we just talked to someone involved in automated driving as opposed to autonomous driving, <laughs> where the driver is still somewhat involved in the process. Sure. Um, and that was one of the concerns. You don't want the driver completely zoning out. Yeah, the, the idea for the Vision S is that it's a level five, which is yeah. autonomous. Um, and it's also the thing that's unique is you typically see companies who are either doing safety systems or audio systems for cars. Sony's doing both because we have that capability. So can we take a look? You absolutely can. This is, I don't know, man, it's actually a pretty awesome looking car. Yeah, so it's, it is actually Sony design. It was made by uh, Magnus Steer in uh, Austria, so they were, they were they did the fabrication for us. Um, so one of the things I think is sort of interesting about this, and you, we'll be able to go around and see the other side, but you'll notice that the side mirrors are very small. They're actually just cameras. Uh, also, the rear view mirror is also not a mirror. Everything is a display. So, the, so, this, so when we get around the side, you'll see that the two left and right mirrors are actually displayed on little screens on either side of the dash. Interesting. So those are cameras positioned where the mirrors would be, but the actual thing I'm looking at is right by the dash. Correct. So there are 33 sensors uh, inside and outside the car, 25 outside, 8 inside, that perform, like I said, a variety of, of safety and entertainment functions. One of the really interesting things uh, on the inside is that the, the dashboard is a panoramic screen. So it's divided into three segments. The instrumentation in front of the driver is fixed, but in the middle there's an information panel, and then on the right side there's an entertainment panel for the passenger. So, so there's a lot of interactivity with that. So let's say you and I were driving together and you said, hey, we gotta go check out this new restaurant. You can pull the inform uh, information panel from the center and swap it type in the navigation information at that location, and then push it back to the center so that I can use it as the driver. So now, Sony is developing those systems that in theory, other car manufacturers would then integrate into their vehicles. Correct. Yeah, so it, it was much easier for us to, to, to design and build this vehicle than it would be to disassemble somebody else's and then reinstall all this. But if you look and you can see on the far right side, that's the right-hand mirror. Okay, that now that's, that's really cool. So the mirrors themselves are actually cameras that allow you to, that display whatever you're looking at, you know, whatever's behind you, on the display in what seems like a more ergonomically intelligent position. I don't have to look, you know, my eyes don't have to leave the road quite as much. Mm -hmm. They can just glance down right there to a screen. They don't get dirty, um, all sorts of things. Um, are objects and mirrors still closer than they appear? Uh, I actually think that it's actually real time. <laughs> so, yeah, so you know, with this kind of situation, with you can do you can do high resolution uh, with that, so you don't have to uh, do artificial things. The, with the three cameras work in conjunction to give you a complete field of view behind you, so there are no blind spots. That's really great. That's certainly improving safety. Um, what other features? So, as cool as the car is, what other features are involved that would maybe get ported over to other vehicles? Well, I said the, the entertainment system, of course, is 360 reality audio. The sensors inside measure the number of passengers and their location. Um, I mean, 
those, those are sort of the, the, the interior sort of features, the fun stuff that you know, the customers enjoy. I mean, really, the idea is that all of these things are integrated into making into making the vehicle safer. Right? So why did why did Sony want to do this? Why do you want to enter? I mean, okay, car stereo is fine, but why did you want to enter this kind of uh, complete sensor uh, scenario where you're both developing for autonomous vehicles, but you're also developing safety situations, uh, you're developing audio, all these other components that maybe people think fall slightly outside the purview of Sony, with you know, an entertainment company, what they think of as an entertainment company. Well, again, a lot of this is the result of our uh, proficiency in image sensors. Our image sensors, CMOS sensors, are so far advanced that they offer better performance, which of course in a safety situation is, is much more important. Right. Like the high dynamic range capability, some of our sensors have a 40 stop range, which gives you an incredible <laughs> difference yeah. right between bright and dark, and as well as high resolution. Yeah, we, we do full, a lot of 4K, so you just the performance of the sensors lends itself to this, and then, as I said, the integration of all these things together uh, is what really, was really what Sony is delivering, is that ability to determine which information is the most important and which is the information is the most accurate. And that's really that's really the discerning part because all this is not happening just in milliseconds but in nanoseconds. So it's really looking and saying we have this technology, we're capable of doing this, why not go into this market, move into this market, take this technology, develop these systems, since the technology is something Sony's already got in, in place, yeah, building. Yeah, the hardware is, is is pretty much in place. With I said the real focus is the integration, integration and understanding you know, what's the most appropriate device to make the decision. Uh, and that's really where Sony's focus is, is at. When, from the time that Sony decided to start working on this to the time where we were able to show a car with these features, how long has it been? I'm not sure when this car was developed. I didn't know that it existed until two hours before the press event. So this, this was a well-kept secret. This entire area of the booth, and we were here on Saturday, was completely locked out. So that just shows how new, fresh, uh, innovative the stuff at CES is. Even the people working on it don't always know what's going to be here until they're here and it's unveiled. This is amazing. The car looks great. I mean, Sony might want to rethink the whole not getting into the car manufacturing business. Um, this is actually a really sweet looking ride. Um, but um, uh, anything else you can tell me about this uh, before we move on? Yeah, you'll notice in the, of course in the back there's different displays for the rear passenger. So you can simultaneously have three separate audio and video tracks going. The headrests, uh, the, the shoulder portion of the seats have speakers built into them. Of course they do. Well, that's what that, I said. There were thirty, <laughs> so that's where at least eight of them are. They got to go somewhere. I mean, if I can't play my PlayStation in 3D sound, then why am I even driving? What's, yeah, what's the point of that? I, I don't even know. Um, all right, we're gonna move on. This is awesome. Okay.